Good afternoon, Mayor Joe Yoakum, Council President Tim Salter is here today for an update on our COVID numbers. Uh, it looks like our total cases are up to 423. That is up 17 from yesterday. Um, yesterday we were 406. Yeah. So, but as of now, as far as total cases that are in uh, isolation or, or quarantine, we could be as high as what, 77? Right, so. Max. We don't know how many came off today. Right, we don't know how many came off today, and I know this is something we discussed because those people have to get individually looked at and they go through their protocols there. So yesterday our active caseload was 60. Right. So then if you had 17 new cases today, the highest that we could be today would be 77, but that's with us not knowing who came off right. today. And we've had a lot of people come off the rolls recently. I mean, even as short as a week and a half to so two weeks ago, we were at 116 cases. So. Right. Right. Um, obviously, today is not a good number to see those caseloads go up, but we're in a better spot than we were two two weeks ago. Uh, that leads us to our positivity rates. Our unique positivity rate is at 12.2%. Obviously, that's something that we want to see go down. But remember, the unique positivity rate is usually going to be higher than your total positivity right. rate. The total positivity rate is the one that the state uses for our county metric, and it's the one that you see most of the Midwestern states, if not most of the United States, use um, as the key positivity uh, rate measurement. So our total positivity rate is at 7%. Now it's a little higher than it was at the beginning of the week. It was down at the lowest five, which is the lowest it's been for a long oh, time. Wow. So 7% is still low. That still puts us in one of the lower categories. Um, and then our county metric is at a 1.5. Now remember, this is out of three. This puts us at the color of yellow, which is what we have been at. This is the new map that gives guidance basically to schools, how to operate and how extracurricular events happen. When you do go to the state site and you do click on it, that's the first map that they show that comes up now, your weekly county metrics. So we're at yellow, we have been a yellow. Good news in that one too, if you look at the map as a whole, our whole area is basically a yellow with some blue around it. So that's a good sign for us. Um, in, the governor had his bi-weekly meeting and they're starting to see numbers where they want to go um, and that's a very positive thing. So, you know, the mayor and I try to go through these numbers. I think one of the bigger ones that I saw today is we tested 4,800 unique individuals. So that's 4,800 people. I mean, that's getting close to one seventh of the population of Knox County. So testing is going up. That's a very good thing in our area because that allows us to identify this quickly, get those people taken care of so then this doesn't spread throughout the community. Right. And the best thing we can all do. Yeah is follow the normal procedures. Wash your hands, keep your distance, wear a mask. Uh, and can't stress wearing a mask enough. Even if you're outside, if you cannot social distance, you need to wear a mask. Yeah, and I mean, I think that's one of the things, this is why you're seeing successes in right. schools, and this is why we're able to keep our businesses open. Um, you know, we hit on it. Like, I, the mask frustrates me a lot, but you know what? I'm going to be the biggest advocate of it. it keeps our schools open, keeps our businesses open, and allows us to continue to do what we're doing here in Vincent's and slowly work our way back. Um, we're in a good spot. And if you look at other areas around us, we are doing a lot of great things. We are moving forward. And I couldn't be more pleased with the way the community's kind of rallied around everything. So um, obviously we had a jump today that we didn't want to see in new cases, but when you start to look at some of these other numbers, we're starting to get into a spot that we want to be. We're starting to see lower trends in certain other areas. So that's a good thing. Yep, let's just keep up the good work as far as that goes and wear a mask. Yes. Uh, yep. Other than that, meetings are Monday night. Yep. Board of Works, five o'clock. City Council is six. You can watch both of them Facebook Live on the Council Facebook as well as the Mayor's Facebook page. So, uh, and if you do attend the meetings, again, you'll do your temperature check and sign in and wear a mask. Yep. I mean, nothing any different than we've been doing since March. Right. Um, and the thing is too, remember that Facebook feed is gonna be there. So that video will right. be there, even if you're just busy and you kind of forget about it. So that'll be there so you can be able to look back on that. Uh, remember, if you wanna ask questions on that, we do have people that are monitoring that during our meeting. So you can ask questions so those can be addressed. Uh, but six o'clock will be here. Not too big of an agenda to go over, but we've got right. some things that we will discuss. Uh, other than that, uh, businesses go well. I mean, a lot of stuff, a lot of good stuff happened in the city of Vincennes. Uh, paving projects started, so you'll start seeing those, seeing those things. I mean, I think things are really starting to move forward. So with that, I think that's time for all your lines again. Just to remind you, hands, keep your distance, and wear a mask. Have a good one.